In this video, I will be making potassium iodide by two methods. First, by the electrolysis of potassium iodide and second from iodine and potassium chlorate. So, to start things off, I took 10 gram of potassium iodide in a 50 ml beaker and added 30 to 40 ml distilled water to it. Potassium iodide has a high solubility, so everything dissolved quickly. Then I placed two graphite electrodes over it and switched on the current. On the cathode, which is the left, hydrogen gas is evolved and on the right, a brown stream is formed. I stirred the solution with a glass rod occasionally after short time intervals. So what's happening here is the H plus ions are getting reduced at cathode to hydrogen and the iodide ions are getting oxidized to iodine at anode. Now potassium hydroxide is formed in the solution which reacts with iodine to form potassium hypoiodite which further disproportionates to potassium iodate and potassium iodide. The potassium iodate formed settles at the bottom due to low solubility. After a day, some crystals were seen at the bottom of the beaker but when I checked the electrodes, the anode had disintegrated completely. So I replaced the anode and started electrolysis again. After a day, more solid was found but the anode had again disintegrated so I washed them and took the whole solution in the boiling tube. After transferring everything into it, I heated it to boiling and filtered it hot to remove the carbon particles. On boiling, the solubility of potassium iodate increases, so it's important to filter it hot. The filtrate was black. I filtered it the second time but still it was black. But this wasn't due to iodine. If it had been due to iodine, it would get decolorized by sodium thiosulfate solution, but it did not. I didn't show this test here, but I did it off camera. Anyways, I took the solution and concentrated it in an evaporating dish. When some solid crystal starts to appear, I stopped heating and let it cool to 0 degrees Celsius. I then filtered the crystals on my Buchner funnel with vacuum filtration and pulled out all the water. Then I washed the crystals with distilled water but still the crystals were grey. The filtrate was black. I kept it to extract iodine from it. Then I took the crystals in an evaporating dish and again recrystallized it from distilled water. This time the crystals were much better. I filtered them again with vacuum filtration and washed with cold distilled water. The crystals were still grey but less than before. Anyways, I dried them in my desiccator and they weigh around 5.2 grams which corresponds to percentage yield of 40%. Now for the second method, I took 6.5 grams of iodine in a beaker. To it, I added 6.2 gram of potassium chlorate and 20 ml water. Now I started heating the solution and stirred with a glass rod. To start the reaction, one drop of concentrated nitric acid has to be added, but I added around a ml and boiled vapor of iodine starts evolving. So I covered the beaker with a petri dish. In which I added water but no iodine sublimate was formed. But after some time, instead of iodine vapor, Greenish yellow iodine reacts with potassium chlorate in presence of an acid to form reaction. potassium iodate and chlorine gas. This is because iodine has more affinity towards oxygen than chlorine. The reaction was carried out until no more greenish yellow gas was evolved and solution turned clear. When the solution was concentrated and cooled, the potassium iodate formed was filtered off using vacuum filtration on a sintered glass crucible. All the crystals were taken out using a plastic spatula in a small petri dish. The crystals were off-white due to some impurities. The yield was 5.2 gram which corresponds to percentage yield of 48%. I upload videos every Tuesday so subscribe to my channel. If you like my work you can support me financially through Patreon and Paypal. Links are given in description.